Hey guys, um, Lewis here. I received a package of boots from Hysia. They said they would send me a free pair of boots if I would uh, review them. So here we go. This is the unboxing. I got Lenny here with me to give him a good uh, sniff test, make sure it's genuine leather. This is my first time opening them. Lenny, get over here. Size 13, look, wear boots. Are you ready, Lenny? Okay. Nope. It comes with a bunch of silica you don't eat. Nope. It comes with an extra packages of laces. Which is nice. It seems like the um, laces, you, the extra laces you buy in the store, never last very long. Um, cardboard. Okay. Here's the boot. The right boot. Says lifetime warranty. It says to clean them with soap and allow them to dry naturally. So here's the right boot, and you can see like the uh, first thing I notice is that it has like rubber going up the back instead of like being all leather, so that's kind of like different. It says oil resistant. It says Goodyear welted construction. So I don't know if that means like Goodyear rubber. It seems like pretty good uh, treads. You can see like the um, like where the threads go along the sole. There's like a like a different bead running along. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, my camera person just informed me it's called top stitch for durability. And here's the uh, left boot. The leather really has a different feel. You can see like the, the foam up here. You got a couple of hooks up here. You got four eyes here and then two hooks here. It says leather, upper balance, quality, man-made materials, oil and slip, resisting outsole. The, um, the sole itself feels like very different. <clears throat> it has like, um, like different textured lines to it. It's just not like flat. You can see the sole. It's kind of thin, but I'll have to wear it and see it. Well, we'll try them on and then um, give it a couple of uh, weeks and see how it is. Well, there seems to be like a, uh, I don't know, like some sort of stud between the threads down there below the sole. But we'll see how it feels.
Yeah, so I, um, I received size 13, and size 13 is um, exactly the size that fits. I noticed that um, compared to a cowhout size 13 that I've also been wearing, it's a fairly smaller shoe. The cowhout sticks out much farther, so hopefully this handles a lot uh, better. The cowhout, I've noticed, is like kind of harder to walk with sometimes, like when you're climbing a ladder. So hopefully this feels better. Mr. Lenny. So I've been wearing these uh, boots now for over a month and uh, I think they're a pretty nice boot. I think for the uh, price you couldn't get a nicer boot. They're, um, yeah, they've been good. They've been holding up well. I've mainly been wearing them in a uh, like when traveling or when working in the shed or the garage, they're kind of a, a little light. Um, not that they advertise that they're a winter boot, but they, uh, you definitely feel it if you spend a lot of time out in the cold up here in Wisconsin. So I think they'll be a good summertime boot. The treads do um, work well in the snow though. They clean out well as you can see. So I've been happy with that. But yeah, overall it's been nice. Yeah. And like I said, I guess it's um they're really good value. And um they've been holding up well so far, like I said. And it's been a month, so can always make another update as we go on in the summertime so okay well thanks for watching